Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to discuss with you about PHP variables. Let's get started. All right, so we are going to discuss about integer, double, float, char, string, boolean in PHP. For this purpose, I'm going to uh, create a file index.php. This is my path. You can create the same path. I'm using Windows actually. You, if you're using Mac, you know, uh, you need to find htdocs there. So C, XAMPP, htdocs, my site. This is my folder. I'm going to put that uh, index.php in here. This will be my uh, URL, HTTP, localhost, my site, and index.php. Let's get started. <clears throat> so first of all, as PHP file, we need to create these tags, starting tag and closing tag, right? Save it, my site.php, index.php, and I put double quotes around it in the beginning at the end and I leave as dot text. It means I saved it like this, index.php, double quotes. Then I can leave that dot uh, as text file. So it will still be a PHP file, not text file because of these double quotes. All right, so now in PHP variables are very easy. Uh, integer value, ID, 10. So like in uh, Java, we used to put like this, int ID, right? But in PHP, we don't need to do this, just dollar sign and ID, okay? A, B, C, anything, any name, X, Y, Z. So now X, Y, Z will have uh, 10 in stored in this variable. So let's make it a little bit more meaningful. ID is 10, for example, all right? So now we want to display it. So display in PHP is very easy, echo, dollar sign, ID, semicolon. And you know semicolon is important in Java and uh, PHP, all right? So let's see, save it. And uh, let's go to our browser. This is my browser localhost, I just type localhost and my site, which is my folder, slash index.php. All right, there we go, we have 10, all right. Okay. Now, uh, so this is dynamically uh, type allocation in PHP. So if I put this one, as uh, name, so what is ID now? Save it, we must keep saving it, otherwise it won't show us the effect. So it's name here, okay? Which is this one actually. So I can put my name. All right, so this has become a string. <clears throat> How about uh, double or float value, basically it's double 10.50. 10.50, okay, or five. Okay, now I want to see Boolean. True. Okay, is one. If it is false, Okay, we see nothing. By the way, <clears throat> the uh, true, we can put in small letters also uh, with the same uh, uh, output, but in uh, PHP, the uh, community practice is for true false, you will put capital. Okay, true or false, all right? False, okay. All right, uh, so it's basically very simple. So let's see, there is a method called get type. Get type, okay. Let's see what type does it get when I pass ID here, I'm giving false, refresh it, it's Boolean. 
true must also be boolean refresh still boolean and uh, id 10 it's integer 10.55 it's double although we don't explicitly use these things we don't use a double integer right uh, how about uh, my name it's string how about in single quote it's still string how about just one one letter with single quote still string all right so that's it for uh, variables i will come back to you with some new topic okay bye bye